Dust 514 soars to new heights, Microsoft announces the next Xbox Live Arcade lineup, and a pair of musical games will soon get your toes tapping. All this and more on Hot Off The Grill. Hello and welcome to the March 25th installment of Gamernode.com's Hot Off The Grill. I'm Senior Editor Jason Finelli, and let's take a look back at all the best gaming news of the past week. The makers of EVE Online finally pulled back the curtain on their upcoming shooter MMO Dust 514, and the details are nothing short of remarkable. At CCP's annual Fan Fest in Iceland, the developers showed simultaneous play between EVE Online and Dust 514 that sent the crowd into a frenzy. In the most impressive part of the demo, one of the Dust 514 players called for air support, which was then relayed to one of the players in EVE Online, who commenced the attack. The attack could be seen simultaneously in EVE and Dust, which is nothing short of mind-blowing. CCP has a really ambitious project here, and if that ambition comes to fruition as it was shown, there's no telling what this could mean for the future of gaming. Microsoft announced details on the next batch of great Xbox Live Arcade games coming your way. The group, which Microsoft is calling Arcade Next, features for high-profile titles coming to Xbox Live. Trials Evolution at 1200 Microsoft points, Blood Forge, also at 1200, Fable Heroes at 800, and the long-awaited Minecraft Xbox 360 edition at a full 1600 points. The showcase will start with Trials Evolution on April 18th, and will continue once a week until Minecraft on May 9th. While all four of these games are interesting, my focus is on Minecraft, Minecraft, Minecraft. It'll be interesting to see how this PC exclusive translates to Xbox 360. I just hope it's not all blocky. This week, game stores were overflowing with a brand new selection of games. Line up and get ready to taste what's on tap. Capcom puts a new shooter spin on a classic franchise with Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. If classic survival horror is more your style, Konami revisits two classics in the Silent Hill HD collection, Silent Hill 2 and 3. If you're more the blood and guts type, Ryu Hayabusa is back in Ninja Gaiden 3. Fans of Giant Robot Warfare have a new installment in the acclaimed franchise in Armored Core 5. Pit is back in an all-new adventure, Kid Icarus Uprising. And the epic battle of birds versus pigs continues above the atmosphere in Angry Birds Space. Come on, man. Angry Birds in space? It's awesome. Epic Mickey 2 has finally been revealed, and there are plenty of reasons to sing the game's praises. The game is being called the first ever video game musical as it will progress like a 1990s Disney animated feature. The idea of playing through a Disney classic along the lines of Beauty and the Beast and Aladdin is unreal. What really makes me happy though is Junction Point answering all three of my demands in a previous episode. The game is multi-platform, it does feature co-op play with Mickey and Oswald, and they fixed the camera with over 1,000 changes made to the camera system according to Junction Point's head, Warren Spector. I don't know of any game that went from a rumor to a place on my most anticipated games of E3 list faster than this, but I cannot wait to see more. Here's hoping there's a classic Disney karaoke area at Disney's booth, because no one sings like Jason, no one croons like Jason, no one busts out in excellent tunes like Jason! Keeping with the beats, Square Enix announced that Final Fantasy Theorhythm, the Final Fantasy-based 3D music game, will be making its way to western shores this summer. The game contains over 70 tracks from the extensive Final Fantasy music library, and has players tapping along to the beat on the 3DS's touchscreen. If you were to read this concept on paper, you'd think it's outright absurd. But check out some videos online and you'll see just how entertaining the game can be. I know I look forward to tapping along to many excellent Final Fantasy tunes, including Mambo to Chocobo from Final Fantasy V, that song is the greatest. I hope you're hungry about a game that you probably haven't played but absolutely should because this next story is in delicious. This week's in delicious offering is Yeti Hunter by Vlam Beer. This game is as minimalist as can be. You'll literally be trudging through a snowy terrain hunting yetis. It seems silly just walking around looking for a yeti to shoot, but the amount of tension created by the creepy 8-bit music and the environment is incredible. You never really know where the Yeti is, and when you do find him, he runs and disappears. But how many Yetis are there? Does there have to be only one? And of course, the Yeti is white, so he blends in with the snowy environment almost seamlessly. These are all questions you'll be asking while you're hunting these creatures. And then nightfall hits, and you'll feel really screwed. For a game as simple as Yeti Hunter to evoke all of these emotions is a triumph in gaming, 
and I tip my hat to Vlam Beer for an excellent experience. Yeti Hunter, you are in delicious. That's all for this week. Tune in next time for more savory seasoned news stories hot off the grill. Thanks for watching, everybody.